tomatoes, mozzarella, and basil. You just can't go wrong with that combination. In fact, we love it so much that we turned it into a delicious meal prep lunch recipe. Our chicken caprese pasta salad bowls. These Mediterranean inspired bowls are packed with fresh veggies and satisfying protein, and they're just the inspiration you need to make healthy eating happen. Let's get started. All right, first things first, we are gonna meal prep some chicken thighs and we want the oven at 425 for this. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn my oven on. Okay, so while that oven preheats, we're just gonna take some olive oil. We need about two teaspoons of olive oil and I have about six chicken thighs here. So I'll just give them a good drizzle. And then we also want some salt and pepper. Salt, so a few cloves of pepper and then some dried oregano for a little extra flavor. Now, of course, you could pick up a rotisserie chicken from the grocery store or get one of those pre-cooked chicken breasts from the deli section, but what I really love about making this is one, it's super easy, and I can make enough to use in this meal prep lunch recipe and then have some leftover. So I could use those leftovers for dinner, for a different lunch. I'm just gonna toss these around and make sure they're coated with the olive oil, salt and pepper, and that oregano. So what I have here is my sheet pan and a reusable silicone topper here. You can use parchment paper, you can skip it all together. But with this, it makes for really easy cleanup. So any stuck on messes that typically would happen on your sheet pan uh, get transferred to here and it's really easy to just wipe them away. So highly recommend it. All right, I'm just gonna lay my chicken thighs out. And this recipe is easily one that you could double or even triple and make extra for, for the week, you know, to top salads, to make chicken salads. And it's so easy. You saw that we just tossed a few spices and olive oil on here. And now all that's left to do is let them cook. And while they cook, we can get going on some of the other portions of this recipe. Okay, I'm gonna set my timer for the chicken for 18 minutes, and at the same time, I'm gonna pop in my whole wheat uh, pasta here. The recipe calls for rotini, fusilli, it's basically the same thing. You can use whatever pasta shape you want. And the recipe calls for eight ounces, which would be half of this box. But again, to get ahead on prep for the week, I'm just gonna go ahead and make the whole box of pasta so I have some leftovers for a different meal later in the week. The chicken is cooking. I just dumped the pasta in some boiling water, so that'll be done in 10 minutes. And while that is cooking over there, we are gonna make the utterly delicious basil vinaigrette that tops these pasta salad bowls. So I need my blender for this, or if you have a food processor or a little mini blender, go ahead and get that out. What I love about this recipe is that all you do is dump all of your ingredients into your blender or your food processor and in just a few minutes it's ready to go. It's really great for the summer because of that fresh basil flavor and you could honestly put it on anything and it would taste amazing. Honestly, whenever I have a yummy dressing in the fridge, I'm guaranteed to eat more salads, to like actually reach for carrot sticks or celery sticks as a snack. And one of the main components of the Mediterranean diet is to eat more veggies. So if you're needing a little helping hand to do so, make this basil vinaigrette. So we have a shallot here. And what we're gonna do is just peel away this brown skin. I'm gonna go ahead and cut off the root and then I'm just gonna quarter them. All right, we also need some fresh basil. We need about a half cup. I'm gonna take the leaves off of the stems here and pack it into my half cup here. Fresh herbs are a really great way to add flavor without the need for too much salt. So the Mediterranean diet emphasizes, you know, loading up on the herbs and spices to add that flavor. And really when you have fresh ingredients like this, it doesn't take much to make them taste amazing. So this is another super easy recipe that you could double or triple. And trust me, when you taste it, you're gonna wish you did, because it's so yummy. All right, my pasta is done, so I'm gonna go ahead and strain it. And so we actually are gonna cool this pasta down, stop the cooking process. So I'm gonna hit it with some cold water. I'm just gonna let that sit there and back to our dressing. 
All right, so I'm just going to dump my basil directly in here. And then also my shallot. Okay, so in goes our quarter cup of olive oil. We are going to use some red wine vinegar here to give that little acidic bite that we love from vinaigrettes. We need three tablespoons. Three. Now we need a little Dijon mustard. We want two teaspoons of this. We also want some honey for just a little bit of sweetness. That's my chicken, so I'm gonna go give that a look in just a sec. And then, salt and pepper, so a quarter teaspoon of each. Ooh, yum. So, easy peasy, that is cooked, so I'm gonna go ahead and just set it on top of the stove there to let it cool while we finish up these last few steps. Now, comes time to blend. I'm gonna pop this on here. All right, let's give this a look. Ooh, yum. All right, so now we can just pour this into a container and pop it in the fridge for the week. So our dressing is all set. And last few things to prep before we can assemble our meal prep containers. I have some grape tomatoes here. So we are just gonna cut these in half. And as we've prepped this one recipe, we made extra chicken, you can make extra dressing, we made extra pasta. So really, we've got lunch covered and at least one or two other meals. Alrighty, so here is our chicken. Yum. So we need about two cups worth of chicken thighs. So I'm gonna just start with two here and see where that put says. And I'm just going to go ahead and give it a little chop. You can slice it, whatever. If you don't love chicken, you could always use a different kind of protein. You could go for salmon or shrimp. You could skip the meat altogether and go for white beans or some other kind of bean and keep it vegetarian. That looks like two, about two cups to me. So I'm going to go ahead and put this right here in my bowl. And I'm just going to go ahead and chop up the rest of this here so it is all ready to go for later in the week. All right, so this leftover chicken can go in the fridge now. Perfect. Now it's time to assemble these chicken caprese pasta salad bowls. So we're going to start with spinach. And what's nice about spinach is that it's a heartier green. So we can, we can pack these salads and it will hold up for the week. All right, spinach is done. So that was basically the whole five ounce package of spinach we divided. So you really are getting a ton of veggies in this lunch recipe. Next up, we have our whole wheat rotini or facility or whatever pasta shape you'd love. We need one cup per meal prep container. All right, extra pasta, meal prepped and ready to use for another meal this week. Next up, tomatoes. So we want about a half cup per bowl. Then we want our chicken, again, about half a half cup per meal prep container. Now we have some lovely mozzarella pearls. And the mozzarella also helps to add a little bit of protein in there. So this is a really lovely filling lunch salad. All right, so we are gonna pack up three of these for later in the week. So I'm just gonna go ahead and chop them. What you'll wanna do is wait to add the salad dressing until you're ready to eat. That helps to keep the spinach or the pasta from getting too soggy or wilting. Lunch for the week. And of course, we have to try it. So I'm gonna dig in here. So if you are taking your lunch to go, you could just go ahead and pack your dressing up in you know, a little mason jar like this and pop it in your lunch box every single day. If you have individual little salad dressing cups, meal prep cups, you can go ahead and pack them ahead of time so you can just grab and go during the week. Alrighty, here we go. Yeah, my mouth is watering just looking at this, yum. 
This would also be like a really great recipe to make for a potluck or a barbecue. It's just so delicious. All right, now my favorite part, which is obviously taste testing this delicious pasta bowl here. Just get a little bit of everything, some pasta, some spinach, a tomato, one of these mozzarella balls. All right, it's gonna be a big bite. Perfect 10. Oh my gosh. That basil vinaigrette, key, really brings it together. And there you have it. You just saw how easy it was to meal prep these chicken caprese pasta salad bowls. It's delicious. You will not regret it if you make it for yourself. You can find this recipe plus so many more delicious recipes in our new 30-day Mediterranean meal plan for summer. If you make this recipe, be sure to take a photo and tag me on Instagram. Thanks so much for watching, happy cooking, and I'll see you guys next time on Prep School.